Your YouTube comments could potentially get Amberlynn Reed demonetized. Uh oh. <laughs> Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, if you haven't been following along in the new YouTube controversy, it seems that there may be a lot of big developments happening right now. Recently, what has been going on is um, someone by the name of Matt What It Is uh, made a video kind of exposing the kind of pedophile ring that is in integrated into YouTube. There's a bunch of channels that are exploiting children for um, the, the wrong reasons. I mean, I, is exploiting a child ever right? Um, you can look into this stuff more. People like Phil DeFranco and Rebzilla and a bunch of other people, even Keemstar has been covering this. If you want to learn more about that, I would suggest go and watching their videos because I'm not going to be really talking about all of that. My stance on children being on social media is it just shouldn't happen. Um, you can watch a video that I posted a month or two ago about kids and social media for money. Um, I just strongly believe that no matter what your intentions are, things can be mis misconstrued and things can be misrepresented on the internet very easily and children just don't have the ability to consent to being on camera and having it upload. They don't understand the ramifications around it. I go into way more detail in my video so if you want go ahead and watch that. I'm gonna put a link somewhere over here so you guys can watch that. Now my thing when it comes to this and how does this relate to our girl right? I saw a tweet or a threat a thread of tweets um, recently on Twitter. Obviously they're tweets. It was very interesting to me. This is between Jessica Ballinger. Now if you don't know who Jessica Ballinger is she is the sister-in-law of Colleen Ballinger aka Miranda Sings. Um, she and her husband have a family channel on YouTube and um, they were recently struck with a bunch of demonetization because of their children being in the being in their videos. Um, I believe a lot of them were like uh, involving their like young son doing gymnastics and stuff. I don't know why you would want to put that on the internet but it's on the internet. These were the um, screenshots that I found. Now the tweet start off with her saying, My five-year-old son does gymnastics and is happy, sweet, confident boy. YouTube, not advertiser friendly. This happened yesterday and I find the timing on this very, very disheartening for the YouTube community. And she posts a picture of all of her son, all of the videos being demonetized and YouTube responds, Hi there. For reference, over the past few days we've taken a number of actions to better protect the YouTube community from content that endangers minors. Here's a tweet from Philly D for more context. And then in the next tweet, and then in the next tweet, it says, with regard to the actions that we've taken, even if your video is suitable for advertisers, inappropriate comments could result in your video receiving limited or no ads yellow icon. Let us know if you have any questions. Now, <laughs> first of all, YouTube isn't really doing this out of like the kindness of their hearts or they're not actually trying to protect children because people have been bringing this issue up to YouTube for a long time, for years. I remember seeing videos posted about shit like this on Reddit two, three years ago, right? This one, however, gained traction, and when it gained some traction, two giant advertisers pulled out, Disney and Epic Games, and that caused YouTube to go into a spiral and to just be like, oh my God, we need to shut this down now. So their thought is, well, these fucking disgusting people are going in the comment section and leaving these vile comments about these kids. So what we'll do is we will just demonetize. I don't know why demonetizing would do anything. <laughs> they're, they're going to demonetize any video with, um, with minors present in it and with inappropriate comments in it. But in the one, in the second tweet, they say that if you're, even if your content is considered advertiser friendly, if the, if the comments are inappropriate, then we could deem this as being demonetizable. Is that even a fucking word? I don't even know. It's, an, it's a word now. So how does this tie into someone like our girl Amberlynn Reed? Now when I first when I first saw these, I thought, holy shit, like she could possibly be demonetized for having a disgusting comment section. Now, truth be told, Amberlynn Reed probably has one of the most heinous comment sections of all of YouTube. She's liked by practically no one, it seems like. And I don't think she's at all responsible for the things that people say in her comment section. I do, however, think she is responsible for like the animosity that people feel towards her because of the blatant manipulation and just like the awful things that she has done on the platform. So for her YouTube audience to not like her, I think it's totally proportional to why, to their animosity towards her because of what, again, what she's done. Granted, I don't think that like people should comment certain things, and I don't think she's responsible for some random person going into her comment section and commenting certain things. Now, I know that they clarified this is involving minors. Now, we know our girl likes to video record random people in public places and likes to put other people's children 
on her channel, which is like kind of icky in my opinion. So should someone like Amber Lynn be held responsible for what people are saying in her comment section? I don't know, there's a lot of comment sections out there that are pretty heinous and pretty bad. Some deserving in some ways and some not. Like, yes, there are some funny fucking comments on there and there are some that just go way over the line, obviously. Like, but there's people like Eugenia Cooney. She doesn't really do anything that's that awful other than kind of existing. Now, Chantel Marie has an awful comment section too. She's also left some inappropriate comments too, um, but I, do I think that like she should be held responsible for what people write in her comment section? Not entirely. Like I don't think that that's appropriate for her. And now it seems like YouTube is just going around and disabling all comment sections in their entirety on channels that they deem is inappropriate for um, their advertisers or inappropriate in general, right? Like YouTube is the deciding factor in that. I think that it's a very slippery slope, right? So like, and we do know that on YouTube, like with the algorithm, if you don't have an open comment section or you're not like allowing likes and dislikes usually, your videos don't show up in suggestions as much. They've even said that before. So I almost feel as though the people that are gonna be hurt the most by it aren't people who are actually involved in the inappropriateness of the comments, right? The answer should be that if someone leaves an inappropriate comment like that, then their account should be banned. Is YouTube gonna be the one that's gonna go around and delete the people who's come? No, their answer to it is just to disable comments in their entirety, which in, a, in which in turn hurts the YouTuber. So I think if they're like on a very slippery slope here, I think if they had nipped this in the butt a long time ago, we wouldn't even have to like deal with any of this stuff. But now it's like, could people p potentially use this to like take other channels down? Like, like I'm saying, like there's a lot of people that dislike certain YouTubers, Amberlynn Reed being one of them. But if someone goes back into their backlog and they like start just fucking leaving these disgusting comments on these channels about like something that's in the vlog and then now that channel could be taken down or that their comment section could be disabled or their videos could end up start becoming demonetized. And I know that there are a lot of people out there that think that Amberlynn Reed should be demonetized. I'm not one of those people. I think that that's like, first of all, she's proven over and over again that she's unwilling and incapable of, of, of sufficiently um, providing for herself. She has to be provided for. Um, if it wasn't for YouTube, she'd either be latched on to Becky would have never quit her job, probably, and Becky would be supporting them, or she'd be on state-assisted welfare. And I don't really think it's, like, the state's job to provide for someone who's unwilling to provide for themselves. She refuses to work, and she's refused to work in her entirety on YouTube. I mean, she worked at that job for, what, a month before she quit because her back hurt? God, I mean, if it was that easy, right? Like, I can't, I get the, the amount of privilege and being like, well, my back hurts, I don't want to work anymore. Like, that's fucking crazy. So, yeah, I just, I think that, like, YouTube is on a very slippery slope right now, and I don't really understand what they're going to do, going to be doing going forward with this. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this all uh, pans out, but right now it's not looking real good. It's not looking good for YouTube, it's not looking good for YouTubers, and it's not looking good for the commenters either. We could start censoring speech that isn't at all harmful or hurtful or whatever. So, I don't know. I just wanted to give my two cents on that. If you like the video, be sure to like it and leave a comment and make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. And until next time, toodles.